Hi, I'm Gary M0TIG here at Martin Lynch and & Sons and today I'm going to be looking at the Astron power supply range that we've just taken on and this we've pretty much focused on three primarily. Um, now we've got two, I think if they're an M they come with a meter. Now I think this one is a non-M, this is an AP. This one is a 30 amp power supply, um, comes with two USB ports on the front there and two Anderson power poles. They're becoming more and more popular now on, uh, on power supplies. Um, these are so well made, um, they're just beautifully constructed and absolutely look the, the, the business. Um, around the side here we've got uh, voltage adjustment. Um, going up actually sends the voltage down by the way and if going down actually sends the voltage up. So but you can adjust that around the side. Um, around the back here, we've got two terminals, um, one pink and one black. Um, obviously the pink one is the positive, um, but they've got screw terminals on the side here. So what you do is you just basically bear the wires, put them in the back here and then tighten the screw terminals up and that's it. You've got a really um, nice size fan there. What's that, about 60 millimeter uh, fan on there. Now these two are running and they're quite quiet. I don't know if you can hear this. Um, they're, they're both uh, very quiet and yeah so you've got an on-off switch around the front there um, as I said two USB ports really really good nice little bits of uh, kit now these two here um, this one is another 30 I think this one's a 30 amp same version as this one but this time you've got the meter on the front again you've got two USB ports two Anderson power poles and of course around the rear here you've actually got the two main contacts around that and again power adjustment on the side and again beautifully made uh, and this one is the same again two usb ports two anderson power poles a meter on off switch voltage adjustment two contacts around the back and a 60 mil fan but this one is a 50 amp power supply so there you go beautiful as I say new to us um, and um, I'm quite I'm quite excited by them so you know time will tell but they are um, they look absolutely magic and I've actually got one here where I've taken the um, the top off to show you we've done this so that you don't have to so do bear in mind that these can bite so if you've got a lid off any um, power supply sometimes they can store quite a lot of, uh, of electricity please don't take the lids off of things we've done it for you but you can see here um, just how well made they are spares are available as well I notice on their website um, I'm going to talk to um, Astron and just see you know what uh, what availability and stuff spares and stuff are which is really unusual these days for companies to offer spares um, on especially on um, these sorts of um, uh, power supplies exciting I'm quite quite pleased with that but they're beautifully designed quite uh, clear in, inside so they look like they might be easy to work on as well in the future so happy days okay so I've cleared the power supplies away um, but keeping in that sort of same theme um, something that I think every shack should have and that's a, a bit of a distribution board um, and if you want to sort of go entry level then the CG antenna um, offering it offers great value for money um, I mean, check the web for, for the, all these prices, by the way. Um, but again, you can you can just bring your um, the output from the power supply goes to the input, the distribution board, and then you've got one, two, three, four fused outputs um, for all of your kit around the shack. Um, this one is a screw type um, connector or and banana plug entry on the top there, but that one is a more of an entry level. Um, into distribution boards and this will just keep things just that little bit uh, tidier now when you want to step up just a little bit then probably look at something like the west mountain radio range of products now this one is a tiny one they do do slightly larger ones this has a range of um anderson power poles you've got a 40 amp input fused input here so that's where your dc comes in so you can use something like the anderson power pole connection on the power supply there just do a connecting cable take it from there to here then that will give you one two three four five outputs um, you've got two at 25 amps you've got one at 10 
one at five and then one at one amp and you know together providing you don't exceed the 40 amps on that which those power supplies i think the only one that covers that is the 50 amp power supply so one of these is absolutely perfect again these are beautifully constructed um again it's a us i didn't say that about those uh, astron power supplies they're actually a us uh, manufacturer Again, these are made in USA, beautiful quality, um, and I've actually got one of these in my shack. Really, really good. So there you go. That's the rig runner from West Mountain Radio. Now, we also carry a whole range of DC cable. Here, this one is, I think, a 40 amp cable. Um, you know, we all just basically give us a call, let us know what it is you're after, or just jump on the website and all of the cables are available, sold per meter. So whatever you need to actually make all this stuff work, then just give us a shout, it's not a problem. Okay, and then for those people that are running maybe a remote station, um, this is actually available. And what this is, is um, it's an internet-based uh, DC power controller. You've actually got a whole range of Anderson power poles on, on, on the back. One is DC in and the rest are all controllable. You've got one, two, three, four, five outputs which are controllable via the internet and probably via some kind of web browser or something like that. Got a nice little display around the front and you've got some, some buttons on the front where you can control them manually as well if you wish. Um, there's a little display on the front there which will just let you know whether or not the, um, the power is on to whatever um, one whichever output um, but you also get an ethernet cable uh, in there as well and of course um, uh, the west mountain radio um, products have always come with a lovely little manual which is pretty strange nowadays um, most companies now are all sort of either cds or, or download only nowadays but west mountain radio still put a nice little manual in there and it's quite informative which is uh, really really good now, for those of you that um, may not stick at home to the shack, we do a whole range of things for you portable guys. And we've got one here, this little funky little beast here, which we'll grab the rest of it, bear with. This is a battery analyzer, um, a computerized battery analyzer. Um, so you can actually monitor the condition of your of your portable battery with that. Um, again, there's a there's be a few more details about this on our on our website. You will have to provide your own battery, unfortunately. Batteries in the UK, shipping them and stuff is just an absolute nightmare, um, as uh, I'm sure you all know. But again, beautiful little product, really really well made. Uh, nice cooling fan on the top, and yeah, nice little little device really useful if you're going portable for a long period of time and you want something just to keep an eye on stuff the next thing i think we've got down here is for you guys again that are going to go portable and you've got yourself one of those sort of lifepo um, motorcycle batteries or something like that there is a little case for them to go in um, and again you get a nice little manual you get a bag of fittings don't quite know what they do but i'm sure they do something you do a, there's a there's a battery uh, connector uh, cable inside and this time they do actually give you some anderson power poles with this kit um, there's also a little tiny a tiny um i think warranty card or something like that or a certificate of some some kind um, and on the front you've got one of the distribution boards on the front there again this time it's actually fused at 25 amps and there, and there are two 10 amp outputs one 5 amp one 2 and one 1 amp output and uh, again it's, this, it's the same same unit as what we're looking at there and that is i believe is a 4005 that one so i'm guessing that will be the same yeah it's written on the front um so yeah so there you go but it comes in a nice box um, so you just put your battery inside there, um, pack it out so it can't move around, and then put your lid on the top. A couple of vent holes and all that sort of stuff. Could be useful for for maybe if you've got like a solar setup or, or something like that. This would would be really, really useful for. Um, so yeah, there you have it. And of course, you've got a strap that goes around the top. Now, I think 
that pretty much sums everything up. I, I'm not sure there's any, any more I can show you. So um, thank you very much for watching. Um, we have now reached 10,000 subscribers. So thank you to everyone that has subscribed. Um, it's always welcome um, when, when someone does. It makes us, you know, it, it gives us a bit of feedback to sort of say that we're doing the right or the wrong thing. Um, talking of the wrong thing, um, a lot of you guys commented last week on our last video that um, the FT891 and the SCU17 needed two USB um, connectors and you didn't think that was quite quite right. Unfortunately, that is a workaround for people that have an SCU17 and an FT891, so they don't have to buy anything else. So thank you very much for all the feedback. And if anyone knows how to get that SCU17 to work um, you know, fully with that radio, I am all ears. Please drop us an email at support at hamradio.co.uk. Um, but again, thank you very much for all the subscriptions and all the views. Um, and we really do appreciate it. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.